Hi, I'm Mike from Don Chalmers Ford in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. We're going to apply some racing stripes to this 2013 Ford Focus today, and I'm going to show you what you need to, uh, to accomplish that. This is a spray bottle with just one capful of Don liquid soap and water. Uh, this will make it when you apply the stripe to be able to move the stripe around so you can locate it properly on the car. I'll use some masking tape to tape the stripe in place in the beginning so I can line it up on the car and get it where I expect it to be. Also, I like to have one rubber squeegee as well as a hard plastic squeegee to squeegee the water out of the vehicle or out of the stripe so that it adheres to the vehicle properly. The first step uh, in applying the stripe is I'm going to use the soapy water. I'm going to spray it on the surface of the vehicle and I'm going to use my rubber squeegee to squeegee the water off the vehicle. This will help remove the dust and dirt particles from the vehicle. So when I apply the stripe, I'm not getting little particles underneath the stripe. This will make a very professional job when it's finished. I like to be pretty generous with the water because again, I'm just going to squeegee it off so it doesn't really matter too much how much you use because you're going to squeegee it off. Once we have a clean surface, we can begin to install the stripe. Okay, what we've done now is we've, uh, I've applied some pieces of masking tape to the windshield here. Uh, this is kind of the general area that I want this stripe to fall into. Uh, this kind of just gives me a guideline as to the thinking as to where I wanted to put it. So I've got the stripe in position here. I'm going to take the stripe off now. What I'm going to do is peel this back off the, off the stripe. This will reveal the sticky side of the stripes. Once we get these peeled, we're going to wet the surface of the vehicle and position it so that we can apply it to the car. Before you squeegee it, there's plenty of time, as the soapy water will allow you to position it, there's plenty of time to kind of eyeball it and make sure you've got it in position. Once you squeegee the water from behind the stripe, you're not going to be able to move it anymore. So I like to take my time, make sure it's straight before I do any squeegee. I'm going to stop in front of the car here and see if it's straight. Once you've applied the stripe to the wetted surface, all you have to do is squeegee the water out from underneath the stripe and that will allow the adhesive to take hold. Usually you have to use a pretty firm grip or a pretty firm application to squeegee the water out of the decal. This usually takes several passes. Once you've squeegeed all the water out of the decal. You can then remove this uh, white paper from the stripe to reveal the stripe. As it goes, you really need to pay attention to if the stripe is peeling up. If the stripe peels up as you peel the paper off, you need to put the paper back down and squeegee some more. Let's see how it looks. If you see bubbles as you go, you can use your finger to push the water out of it. The water will be drying out of these stripes for the next several days, just like tint would when you tint windows. You can see here that we've got the car completed. We've got the stripes pretty much on all the bumpers, across the roof, and all the way onto the back trunk. Um, you want to babysit this car over the next two or three days as the water dries from behind the stripes. You're going to have to take a look at it, watch for bubbles that pop up. And as they pop up, just use a squeegee and you can squeegee, out, squeegee them out. You want to be kind of careful with it now that the paper is revealed from the stripe. When you do squeegee it, you gotta be real careful so not to damage the stripe. Uh, you don't wanna wash the car for the next two or three days as the water dries from behind them. But uh, it came out nice and uh, we're real proud of this car. Let's take a look at it.
This has been Mike McCracken with Don Chalmers Ford in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Visit us on Facebook, Twitter, or at www.donchalmersford.com.